Hi, this is Kelsey Pruce. I am doing the lab on bones and I'm going to tell you about the bones of the body, starting with the head. So we have our frontal bone, your two temporal bones, and your occipital. This makes up the cranium. You have your zygomatic bone on either side of the face, your orbital bones, your nasal bone, your vomer bone, which is right in the middle of the nose, your maxilla, in your mandible, which opens and closes. Then on the spine here, we start with the axis, the atlas, and then the axis. We have seven cervical, 12 thoracic, and five lumbar. Then we have one sacrum and one coccyx bone. Turning back around here, we'll have our uh, clavicle, and we have our scapula. Sorry. And then we have our ribs. We have one through seven of our ribs are true. The rest are false. And then 11 and 12 here are floating. So all together we have 24 ribs. This here is our sternum. This is the, zy the um, xiphoid process. And then we have the manubrium. Um, coming up on top of the arms here, we have the humerus. We have the radius in the ulna, which is on the pinky side. And then we'll start with the carpal bones from medial to lateral here on the outside of the hand. We have the scaphoid, the lunate, the triquetrium, the pisiform, the, the trapezium, the trapezoid, and we have the capitate and the hamate. And then we have our metacarpal bones. So starting with the first one, we have our first metacarpal, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now with the thumbs, with our phalanges, we only have a distal and a, and a proximal phalangeal bone in our thumbs and our big toes. So through second through the fifth of the phalange joints, we have distal, middle, and proximal, distal, middle, proximal, distal, middle, proximal, and distal, middle, proximal. Coming to the hip here, we have our iliac crest, your ilium, your pubis, and then the pubis symphysis would be down in here. And then we have your uh, ischium tuberosity, which is our sit bone. When we sit down, we sit on those bones. And then we have our femur, your tibia, your fibula, tibia, fibula. Then we have our calcaneus, your talus, and your, your cuboid. And then we have our navicular. And then starting on the medial here, we have our medial uh, cuneiform, our intermedial cuneiform, and our lateral cuneiform. Then we have one through five metatarsals. So we have our first metatarsal starting in the middle, medial, our second metatarsal, our third metatarsal, our fourth metatarsal, and our fifth metatarsal. And then again, um, same as our thumb, our big toe only has a distal and a proximal uh, phalangeal joint or bone. So second through fourth phalange bones, we have the distal, middle, and proximal phalange bones in the second through the fourth, through the fifth on the toe. Um, we also here have our patella, which is our kneecap, and I think that's it. A lot of these bones um, for origin insertion of most tendons and ligaments, we go by where they insert and where they attach would be um, pretty much the name of the bone. So once we get into tendons and origin and insertion, it's easy. Once you know all the bones, it'll be easier to know where the origin insertion of each tendon and muscle and, and um, ligament uh, is in the body. Um, thank you.